So as we head into episode three of Shogun, Chris and I actually just finished watching uh, The Last Samurai because we were like, it's on the same, it's on the same level, same vibe. And he had a pretty decent role in The Last Samurai, which I'd completely forgotten about um, playing, you know, essentially the right hand band. Um, so going back 20 years and, and seeing him there earlier in his career has been very entertaining. Now, I, I think the first time I really came to appreciate him as a as an as an English speaking actor doing parts that didn't have anything to do with martial arts. Well, there was a show that um I'm gonna get sidetracked here for a minute before we dive into episode three, so bear with me. Um it was a sci fi channel show about a team of scientists that went to Antarctica because they found this this black liquid, I think, in the ice. Uh and it was a show that um uh, Ronald D. Moore did coming off. It was like, I think it was after Battlestar Galactic and Caprica, but before the Outlander show. Um, and he was like the lead scientist on that program um, in Antarctica. Um, and that was the first time I remember watching him and going, oh, he does way more than just martial arts stuff. So uh, it's really cool to see him come back. I was reading an interview after I watched the the, pre, uh, the, the, the premiere of Shogun. It said his stipulation for being involved was that all of the actors who played in this movie needed to be ethnic actors. In other words, all the Japanese uh, roles needed to be Japanese actors and et cetera. So what it's been really interesting to me is to see a lot of the people who are playing Portuguese actors in the show are actually of Portuguese descent who I've seen and speak Portuguese. Um, in particular, the captain of the black uh, ship was, um, I cannot remember his name, but I remember he was the captain on Stargate Universe, and I've seen him in things since then, Breaking Bad, he showed up for a little bit, um, and he's Portuguese, speaks fluent Portuguese, um, so it's really interesting to see this, and then the guy who's playing the pilot of the other ship, who was on Lost, is like one of the, uh, Jake, uh, I forget, one of the, one of the guys uh, on, on, on the island who lived for a very long time, um, he's also Portuguese, anyway, Great casting, great show. Episode three, we're going to spoil it. So if you haven't watched it yet, pause, go away, watch it, come back. You'll be good to go. And uh, if you like what you see here today, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Uh, this episode is all about um, his character basically uh, showing that he is... Uh, Tor Toronaga basically is a, a wily dude, right? <laughs> <laughs> so he knows that everyone is after Blackthorn, the pilot, right? The Portu uh, the English pilot who wants to take the um, Portuguese out. And he's taken advantage of this because he knows that the Christian rivals, who are siding with the Portuguese church, the Christian rivals, two of whom are uh, leaders in the regency and are allied against him, um, he knows that. So he's using this to advantage. So he tells his trusted commander, Kashigi, that he wants to hide Blackthorn in his own territory while he investigates who hired the assassin. Um, he correctly um, basically finds out that it's Lord uh, Kiyama, I'm going to butcher these names, who is his primary Christian rival and the regent who's currently profiting the most from Spain and Portugal, um, who wants Blackthorn dead. Um, but on the day that Blackthorn's supposed to leave, uh, Lord Ishido shows up, and he's been tipped off that they're about to make this trip. And as they're doing this, um, Toranaga has basically done this in such a way that he has um, a high-ranking lady who's going to be inside of a carrier, and they're going to take her out of town back to the province. And when everybody's distracted, distracted, Toranaga sneaks inside so that he can get out of Osaka alive. Um, and this sort of starts this whole process of them trying to make this escape through the middle of the night um they get attacked by the um uh, and this is where i'm horrible with names um uh, lord kiyama uh, his group ambushes them in the forest and then uh, toranaga is forced to get out of the uh the carrier and this is when we get to this boat sequence where they're trying to escape the harbor and they have a boat that they're on and then they see the black ship so they get on the black ship and he brokers a deal with the boat captain uh the ship captain that uh, and the portuguese are there as well he's like i will give you permission for the ship to sail if you help me get out of here and i'll give you ten thousand gold and and i'll let the portuguese set up a church in Edo, which is a big thing so he's doesn't really care about religion so much he's using this to drive a wedge 
between the Portuguese church and the Christians, essentially, and the two regents who have currently been allied with them um, and making much money because he's giving the Portuguese a chance to establish more of a church, more churches, even though he knows that they have established um, bases all around Japan to potentially take over an attack if need to. That's pretty interesting. Um, there's a huge sequence here um, of them getting out of the harbor, and there's a lot of you know action, sort of so to speak, about this. Um, and as we get on this, um, we can kind of see. It, and I've never read the book, so I can only assume that they're drawing something back for the book. We get this backstory of Blackthorn having a wife and a child that he left behind because of the call of the sea and everything else. But at the same time, um, Torgat is, is presented with the journals from Blackthorn from the Portuguese saying, this guy's a pirate. Like, like Blackthorn's a pirate. You sure you want to be allied with a pirate? And he actually tells Blackthorn, he's like, you know, I've been told that these books are reports of you uh, looting and ransacking Portuguese, and that's piracy, and that's punishable by death. But it's going to take a long time to translate these documents. So until then, maybe you can teach my guys warfare, you know, Western warfare with your weapons. Um, so the boats make it past the blockade, and they get out. So they're obviously on their way to Edo, and and they're on their way to the to the to the next. Um, I'm still a little bit confused about who sent the assassin. Um, because th there is this, um, I'm, I'm not sure if, uh, his right hand man essentially, um, because there's so much going on here, um, for Toraga, uh, you know, Kashigi is like definitely, I feel like he's playing both sides cause he wants that council seat and he's not afraid to maybe do some things that might, you know, he's loyal to this guy, but also he's not above, you know, doing things that are going to put him ahead. And, and when he's confronted by um, Tornaga, he, you know, there's this sequence where Tornaga is like, what did they promise you? And he's like, the, the counselor seat. And he's like, well, what do you really want? And he's like, well, I'd like to rule this part and add this to my fiefdom, but I'm going to need my head to do that. So, <laughs> um, so, you know, there's definitely some political intrigue going on here. Um, there's a lot going on. And obviously there are historical references here that, that, that we draw from. Like I said, I've never read the book. I know the book is based on things that happen in real life. Um, and essentially the, uh, the, the Tokugawa Shogunate, and there's a whole bunch of backstory here, which if you're interested in, you can go read up on. I might want to as well. Um, Lord Tornaga, um, essentially, you know, I, I, I don't feel like he necessarily wants to be the ruler of Japan yet, the, the Shogun, but I feel like he feels like that's def that's like the only way to protect, um, his country. But I don't know exactly what the motives are because we're still a little early on in the show. So I don't know. All I know is I'm enjoying it. I'm a great fun. Another solid episode for me. We are hooked on this show. Um, looking forward to the next one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams here and on Twitch. Check out all the other playlists, all the other shows and movies I review. And don't forget the Discord. See everybody next time.